Tribulus terrestris is a popular ingredient in testosterone boosting dietary supplements, but does it actually work? In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you some research on tribulus as it pertains to raising testosterone levels. Now, quick sampling of some of the dietary supplements, not naming names, but these are some of the things that I found uh, as I took a look at different dietary supplements out there. Here we've got a supplement containing 250 milligrams of tribulus. Here's another one containing 650 milligrams of tribulus and another one, 750 milligrams of tribulus terrestrial. So this stuff is found in a variety of different testosterone enhancing dietary supplements. And the mechanism by which it's supposed to work is by raising our levels of luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone is made in our pituitary gland. It in turn sends signals to our testes to boost our testosterone levels. And that's the most common and popular uh, theory behind how this stuff is supposed to work. But where is the evidence coming from? What's the evidence on tribulus and testosterone levels? So here's a study comes out in 2007, uh, five weeks of tribulus terrestrial supplementation and muscle mass body composition in rugby players. So for five weeks, these rugby players, there's 22 rugby players, they're given either a placebo or 450 milligrams of tribulus terrestrial again for five weeks. That's a little on the low side. I sometimes see supplements containing more than that, but it is what it is. Uh, they also perform strength training during the study, which is good. And what do they find? that tribulus does not produce any improvements in muscle strength or muscle mass. And, and, and by the same token, it didn't improve testosterone levels either. So even when combined with a strength training program, at least in this study, again, tribulus did not appear to raise testosterone levels. Uh, another study comes out, uh, this one from the year 2000, and here we've got an effect of tribulus basically on testosterone levels in uh, young resistant trained men. So these guys are split up into two groups. They perform strength training for eight weeks, three days a week. They're given either a placebo or a dietary supplement that contained tribulus, as well as many other things, androstenedione, dione, DHEA, uh, sal palmeno and stuff like that. Uh, again, tribulus at 700, 600, 625 milligrams, excuse me. And what do they find? Uh, no change in free testosterone or total testosterone in either group. Testosterone didn't go up and testosterone didn't go down either. Uh, interestingly, what they do find is uh, estradiol actually did go up in the dietary supplement group. Estrogen is estradiol. My guess, uh, if I had to spitball this, I'd say that's probably due to the androstenedione. dione. There is some evidence that androstenedione dion may raise estrogen levels. Again, it's a multi-ingredient dietary supplement, so we can't say for, for sure what's causing this, but my guess would be it might be the andro. But again, you, others may differ with me on that. Now, if we move on to this investigation from 2017, uh, here we've got uh, an, a study of uh, 30 guys. They're given 750 milligrams of tribulus for three months. These researchers find no change in either free testosterone or total testosterone uh, from tribulus use. Interestingly and ironically, they also find that tribulus does not raise luteinizing hormone either. Remember, boosting of luteinizing hormone is how tribulus is supposed to work its magic, so to speak. In this study, again, no change in free testosterone, total testosterone, and ironically, no change in luteinizing hormone either. Now, let's jump to this interesting study. This one comes from a year sooner, uh, 2016. And again, what we're looking at here are 30 guys who are given 750 milligrams of tribulus a day for three months. Now, these researchers find something interesting. They show a statistically significant difference in testosterone, both free testosterone and total testosterone. Ironically, no change in luteinizing hormone either. But I find this is a little interesting because if I look at the researchers, these researchers, for the most part, look very similar to these guys in 2017. Similar group of researchers for the most part. Here in 2017, they're saying no change in testosterone, okay? But a year prior to that, they're saying, yes, there is a change in testosterone. So I'm not quite sure if this is the same investigation or a different investigation. Again, it's just something that jumped out at me because the researchers look very similar uh, than, than to each other. So again, hard to say what's going on here, but I wanna let you know that there are some studies if you dig deep enough that will say tribulus will raise raise testosterone levels. Personally, for me, most of the studies I see show it doesn't. And so in my book, I tend to call tribulus a dud as far as raising testosterone levels is concerned. 
That's all I got for you. A quick video, gang. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will do my best to answer them myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Joe Cannon. Go out and make a difference.